I'm Jennifer Lord, CEO and founder of Natural Hollywood. So we're heading over to Wyckoff, to the studio, so we can do the final Natural Hollywood photo shoot for 2017 with Anybot Studios, Samira Shark, Craig, Simone on the makeup, and my girl Jasmine for the clutch. I started Natural Hollywood in 2011. The name came to me in a dream, and that's very empowering because that's when you know God gave it to you, Amen. when you have a dream. I used to dream about braiding hair when I was like three and four, and then I would wake up in the middle of the night and practice on Barbies. I just thought about all the natural hair women and girls who growing up always thought, for my special moments, I have to straighten my hair. And I feel like even if you're in Hollywood or not, we all have Hollywood moments of our lives. I have to say that my very first event, Adversity Quotient, wasn't planned. Like so many other experiences I've had with Natural Hollywood, I truly believe this is a journey that God planned for me. It was not one that I saw 10 years ago. I did not know I was gonna be doing these things. But once I had the dream and it clicked that I didn't have to wait for someone to come and hire me to do something, that what I had to do as an artist was create my own. So I had to hire my own photographer, my own makeup artist. I had to make sure that I creatively directed my own shoot. Once I did that, I took off from there. My family is from Grenada, the Spice Island, the same island that Malcolm X's mom is from. This is where the power started, the black movement, power to the people, by any means necessary, right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is what's left of Malcolm X's mother's house. People can be so nice and so loving and so resourceful, yet fearless and unapologetic. And that's what Grenadians are known for. One of the people responsible for a lot of what has been able to happen for Natural Hollywood is my Aunt Bernadette. Because of my Auntie Bernadette, everyone who on that this side of the family that is in the United States that is successful or not, it's because of Tinsy Bun. She made it a way for them. She had a home. They all stayed with her. And then as they adjusted and assimilated into the culture of New York, they were able to move out and get their own apartments and their own homes in different parts of Brooklyn and Queens and even other states within the United States. So we thank you, Tinsley Brown, for being a pioneer and allowing us to, you know, have a home in Grenada, but also um, a start in the American dream. It was my pleasure. It, 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 was, all, it was also my dream. And um, I, I, you know, I was very fortunate to get there. I was very fortunate in getting myself organized, so to speak, because I was able to get a sponsorship and get my green card. And from the time I got my green card, mm -hmm. my thought was to help my people. Well, I was a natural hairstylist for a long time. Um, I started working at an eclectic natural hair gallery in Baltimore, Maryland. And a year and three months later, I opened my own salon, Naturally Me. And working in that environment and working with clients and experiencing their natural hair, I realized that they didn't have a lot of inspiration as far as hairstyling, and they weren't really sure where to get it from because a lot of the magazines at the time, they were just recycling images. They were showcasing the same natural hairstyles over and over again. And I was frustrated because I was trendy and I was fly. And I just wanted to see that more. Um, social media hadn't burst at that time. So we were kind of like this underground crew. And I was just like, wait a minute, I'm fabulous. You know, I like my lashes and my nails and my heels. And I want to wear these trendy natural hairstyles and I want more people to see it. So that was the inspiration behind Natural Hollywood. I wanted to have an outlet of 
you know, really dope, chic styles that represented all the spectrums of the different type of black women that existed. And I didn't want to keep complaining about it because I wasn't seeing it. I wanted to make it happen. So I created my own platform and that was how it came to be. I remember just being artistically void, like not having inspiration while I was living in Maryland and not being able to express what I needed to express or get people on board to kind of understand what I wanted to do. And that was really frustrating because I was like dying. Mm -hmm. You know, I was just drained from not being able to just go all out with my art. My art. And so moving was definitely a challenge. Um, moving from Baltimore as a single mom with two kids who had established relationships there and had family there and had so much support there, I struggled with that decision for sure. Um, but I had to. I had to go. I had to spread my wings and fly. I left with a bang. I produced A Night of Grandeur, and that was my first art exhibit and fashion show where I combined both art exhibit and fashion show. It was amazing, so that was great. And then I got here. I remember going into work at Sabine's hallway and on the coffee table was a coffee table book called Afros by Michael July. So I'm looking at this book and I'm like, oh wow, this is so beautiful. And I'm flipping through the pages and I'm seeing picture after picture of these beautiful women. And it's just my brain starts turning and it starts clicking and says, you have thousands of photos. I was inspired by what I saw, but then I just, I didn't necessarily move on it. I just knew at that moment, I was struggling with the magazine because the magazine was literally a labor of love that I would create and work with my graphic designer, Drew Brzezinski, who is amazing. He actually graphically designed the cover of Natural Hollywood's coffee table book. Called up Michael July and he is amazing. He was so forthcoming about everything. Every time I call this gentleman, He's a mentor for me. He always takes the time to listen. He always gives me sound advice. He always encourages me. He said he was fond of my brand, which was amazing. I didn't even know he knew I existed. He's like, oh yeah, I love your stuff. You should totally do a book. That was reassuring. Um, and from then on, I just started working on it. The beautiful thing about art is that it's everywhere. It can happen and it can come from anywhere. And so you can literally take a piece of nothing and turn it into something super grand. Wherever you are, wherever you're at, there's no excuse for you to get things done. You can make something happen with whatever you have at that time. I went into this store that was closing and they had these hanging up. It was basically selling all of their Christmas ornaments and their Christmas trimmings at half off. And I bought them and then I came home and I put the hair over it and this is what you have. I mean, it's a little messy now because it's from a, a few months back, but that's kind of what you do. You take anything and you make it everything. This experience of producing Natural Hollywood Volume 1 has allowed me to see and that is why I named my event Fear Not. I love to see my people living in love. I hate to see them fighting and swimming in blood. Love me get the farming, scarring in the mud. Yet they want to be the first to reap the food as it bought. Oh, them fill the earth with peas and church and corn. Oh, 
sir Them said them think they take too long for grow and start to cuss her I couldn't trust them when those as a white show, sir Such is life, them say you're just hurt I see Kasha Heights where them call this Watalan Some say for government, some say for Matalan Still no one share all them got a lot of land Them want to be done a gun range and shot a land Rasta tell them all the while, stop war and go till the side Stop fighting for land and all Feed the coil, so many go divide Slave master spit in on them face them take that with a smile the Money spent for Come with plastic smile And them wicked intention In your hand I wait them put them evil invention Turn gun model Seeking attention See them know you dead And that is no redemption Parents are wonder Where to get the first symptom To bury the dead Them not even got pension Rasta tell them all the while Stop work and go till the side Stop fighting for land and all Feed the coil So many go defile Master speed.